team of reporters has every angle covered. Chris Parento talked to Bing's family and civil rights leaders who called for an independent investigation. But we begin with I-Team investigator Lindsay Gardner, who found a similar case 12 years ago, still has no answers. Lindsay. Well, Mary, Sheriff Williams says it's not unusual for the FBI to oversee police shootings, but usually their involvement is not made public. But the sheriff decided to announce it to the community today to instill confidence in his agency. The I-team found former Sheriff John Rutherford did the same thing 12 years ago. But tonight, still silence on what federal agents found. You know, obviously this case has garnered a lot of attention and there's a lot of questions in the community about, uh, you know, the, the way we investigate shootings. Sheriff Mike Williams standing side by side with the FBI, announcing an independent review of the officer-involved shooting of Vernell Bing Jr. Officer Tyler Landreville shot Bing once in the head last month after the suspect ran the stolen vehicle into Landreville's patrol car following a short chase. JSO will still investigate the officer's actions and the FBI will then review those findings. As we do this in an effort really to bring some confidence to the community about, about the processes that we're going through right now. It's a similar tune that echoes what former Sheriff John Rutherford said nearly 12 years ago on the steps of the federal courthouse. What I'm worried about is the public trust uh, for this agency. Rutherford stood alongside the FBI and the U.S. Attorney's Office in 2004, asking them to investigate the Sheriff's Office to see if there were any civil rights violations found following the deaths of two African Americans who died in police custody. Sammy Lee Evans was slammed to the ground by a rookie officer and later died. That officer later resigned. And Ezra Jones, who died in the jail after being placed in this restraining chair. The cases sparked outcry from civil rights groups like the NAACP. It's open season against African Americans. And I'm going to call this a defining moment for the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office. And, and I want people to be confident going forward uh, that, that the officers that wear this uniform, that put on this badge, are out there and they have the character and the integrity to be there. Nearly four years later in 2008, News 4 Jax requested the results of that federal civil rights investigation in this open records request. We were denied by the Department of Justice. The findings of the case were never released to the public. Fast forward to today, the FBI will not investigate this shooting or JSO, but as the lead agency that investigates civil rights, the FBI will oversee JSO's internal investigation and once it's completed, turn over all the findings to the Department of Justice. We have to prove the official was acting under the color of law or in their official capacity as a law enforcement officer, willfully deprived the victim of their civil liberties. So the officer knew what they were doing was wrong and did it anyway. As for the current case, JSO told me they will release their findings of the Bing shooting as usual. As for that 2004 case, JSO referred the I-team on to federal investigators. The Department of Justice referred me back to the FBI, and the FBI declined to comment. So 14 years later, rather 12 years later from 2004, still no answers. Mary. Thank you, Lindsay. This investigation comes after multiple calls from community groups. They want an independent review of the officer-involved shootings. Channel 4's Chris Parento spoke to Vernell Bing's mother today after JSO's announcement. He's joining us live. So the family wanted the FBI involved. Chris, are they happy with this decision? They are, Kent, and Vernell Bing Jr.'s mother was very emotional as she spoke this morning. She didn't have a whole lot to say, taking all of this news in shortly after it was announced by Sheriff Mike Williams and the FBI. But she did say she is happy that this is moving forward and that an independent agency will review the findings from the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office in this case. Friends and family of Vernell Bing Jr. are happy JSO is bringing in the FBI to review the findings of JSO's investigation into the deadly shooting. I'm glad they moved them forward, but that's not going to bring my son back. Words were still hard to come by for Vernell Bing Jr.'s mother, Shirley McDaniel, this morning after JSO's announcement. I'm just speechless. They basically took part of me. Bing's mother still can't believe her son is gone.
killed just weeks before his son, Vernell Bing III, was born. Since the shooting, community groups have been calling for this review, saying that it's time someone other than the sheriff's office has a hand in reviewing the case. Let's just step in the right direction, and we hope that this, uh, this path of transparency that we basically had to force on the city will continue, and we encourage other people to come out. And even though JSO will still conduct their investigation of the shooting, many that called for an outside agency to investigate are satisfied with how it appears the process is playing out. We don't expect the sheriff to simply stop his investigation as a result. Let him continue his investigation. If it comes up with more facts, we think that the truth will come out. Family and friends of Vernell Bing Jr. will hold a rally in his honor tomorrow at noon. That rally will be at the spot where that shooting happened, at the intersection of 9th and Liberty. Live at the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office, I'm Chris Parento, Channel 4, the local station.